Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're reviewing the Genesis G80 with the 2.5T. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Genesis of Linden, Utah, for giving me some time with this G80. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.5 liter four cylinder that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 22 around town and then 30 on the highway with power outputs being 300 horsepower and then 311 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you can see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you got the Genesis logo front and center. And I don't know if it's going to pop up on camera very well, but this has this really cool blue paint job. And then popping down below, we've got Genesis's signature headlight design. And then I love the grill here, quite opulent. And putting it all together, especially with this blue paint, I mean, it pops. There, I think that will kind of show you guys the coloration with the paint. Around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 245, 45, 19 in the front, and then 275, 40, 19 in the rear. And you can see with the wheels, you've got kind of like a, it's, it's like a darker silver for the coloration looks good. You notice the chrome trim here on the side with the turn signal indicators. And then the mirror cap, body painted, then you guys can see with the silver trim, the door handles also around the window trim. And then here is your full side view with the G80. And then take a look at the key fob. We have our lock and unlock function here. We've got the opening for the trunk, your remote start function. That's the lights. And then the Genesis logo on the back. And then popping into the rear, the G80 is a pretty big car, so tons of space in the cargo area and i mean this is what sedans used to be about is being spacious but nowadays most of them are small anyways when you're all done just press that and that'll lower the trunk lid back down i like the design here in the back how it kind of just like swoops up you can see the taillights are very similar to the headlights in terms of the theme and then you got all of your badges here and then covers for the exhaust tips and putting it all together let me know your thoughts on the looks here with this particular g80 now popping inside, soft touch here at the top, and then really nice wood trim, and then more soft touch down below. And I like the two-tone coloration with this one. And then look at the finish with the controls here, and then also the speakers to the sound system. And then take a look at the seats, perforated all down the center portion. And yeah, again, soft on the sides. Now being a bigger car, the G80 is quite spacious here in the back. We also have a little storage pocket there. We've got some vents here in the back. we got our own climate zone as well. And let's see what this pulls down to be. Ooh, pretty fancy. Got some cup holders, heated seats, that's for the sunshade. Yeah, nice. Got some nice luxury stuff here in the back. Now take a look at the front door panel. You guys can see again, soft touch here, and then look at the wood trim down below, and then more soft touch with that cool two-tone design. All of our window controls here. We've got our mirror adjustments. The mirrors do power fold in. We also have our memory seat function, blind spot monitoring for the mirrors too. And then take a look at the front seat, perforated all down the center portion. Power adjustments there on the side. And you can see this for the auto stop start, your stability control, you can see for the parking sensors as well. And then look at the dash, soft touch all over, which is really nice. Now take a look at the steering wheel. You can see the two-tone design, so darker on the outside and then lighter on the interior. We've got power shifters there on the back for that eight-speed automatic. We have practical controls on the front, like our adaptive cruise control, steering assist, volume controls, voice command controls, all normal stuff. And then really nice stocks there on the back. And then take a look at the gauge cluster here. You guys can see that it's partially analog, partially digital, and it can scroll through some menus, see different bits of info on the vehicle itself. And then we also have a drive modes, which will kind of change the look of the gauge cluster. The coolest one is the sport mode, obviously. And then in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. Resolution with that is solid. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, just like other Genesis's, Genesi, whatever you want to say, um, response time with the screen is really good. Uh, it's easy to use overall. Uh, there is also an analog control here for the screen. So if you don't want to use the touchscreen functionality, you don't have to. I mentioned this before, but you can see the nice trim on the dash and then the wood trim down below. And I like the vents, how that all connects in a line. And then... Yeah, nice with the glove box. Analog controls here for the dual zone climate system. We have heated and ventilated seats with this. And then I like how got that, that covers it up. The camera will focus on it. It's nice wood trim here. 
Um, good storage space inside overall. And then a bunch of stuff here in the center. So we've got this to cover up the cup holders. Got your volume controls here. This is for the infotainment system. And then you can see the dial shifter, drive mode select. That's for the camera parking sensors. And then center console. It's got good space. I like the padding on the top. I think that's really premium looking. And then the headliner matches in coloration with the interior. Also, big sunroof. Here's a quick look at the window sticker for the G80. Um, you guys can see all the standard equipment with this one. It's an advanced package. Um, and that advanced package, by the way, 4,700 bucks. Total MSRP, 60,995. And let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors, show a blind spot monitoring. And throughout the rest of the rear. And we should get a reverse out a little bit. And then we'll go forward. I guess we'll see the turning radius of this G80. Also, we're in the new building now with Genesis. Super exciting. Uh, if you happen to live in uh, Utah, it's uh, it's really cool. Um, I, you know, obviously reviewing these cars, all these different dealerships, I get to see how the different manufacturers approach uh, the dealership structure. It's a weird thing to mention. I really like what Genesis has done. They've gone for a really cool, like the outside looks very similar to like a Mercedes Benz dealership. Um, but the inside, I think, is the cool part. So, yeah. If you guys uh, have a chance to visit it, let me know if, what you guys think about the structure. But, you know, actually setting off... Uh, seat comfort's really good. And this is obviously not like the low... I, I just did a 3.5T G80 the other week. Um, this is like a less loaded up version. Still an advanced package. Uh, so, yeah, just a little bit, a little bit more affordable, right? Good torque though, right off the bat. I will say that. Comfy too. Yeah, suspension's nice. Smooth. Definitely captures the luxury car experience. And I mean, we're right next to the interstate. And the thing's cool about this car is like, you have, you know, you're outside of the car and you can hear the cars just driving by. And it's, it's very loud, by the way. You probably noticed in the audio with the walk around. But once you get into the car, it's like it goes away. It's really cool, the insulation that this provides. So now we're in sport mode here. <laughs> Pretty dang quick. Pretty dang quick. Wow. And again, this is the base powertrain, and it's, yeah, it's solid. So to sum things up here with the G80 2.5T. I love the exterior styling on this. Uh, just Genesis. I, I know they all, you know, some people might think, oh, they all look the same. And there's a, yeah, there is a lot of similarities. But I, I like what they've done with the styling. And then the interior is very upscale feeling. And it's it's reasonably priced for a luxury car. Um, the average brand new luxury car is about 60, I believe about $67,000. This, on the other hand, you're looking at right a little bit less like quite a bit less than that for the msrp price so it's not you know quite in the realm of it's still more expensive than a, a regular car because regular cars are like forty seven thousand dollars but i mean for a luxury car it, the msrp price i mean it's um yeah it's i mean it's re it's very reasonable uh, especially for like the features and everything that you're getting so let me know your thoughts on the g80 and let me know if you think this is, like, in terms of what this is trying to do, is it's just trying to be a luxury car. Do you think that this is worth it in terms of the luxury it provides, or do you think that it needs to do more at this uh, price point, I guess?